this is the second video I made on showing you how to rip or dump a Commodore cartridge. This is the second method. With this method, you just need a cartridge expander board, which are pretty easy to find versus a cartridge dumper, which is in my first video. All right, here is the video. Okay, now this video, I'm calling this part two because I showed you how to, I showed you how, to, how you can dump a cartridge with the cartridge cracker. Now I want to show you a way that I like to do it with just um, an expansion board. We're going to plug this in the back and we'll just plug in. Plug that in and these switches decide which cartridge port you use. A reset switch and we're going to load a, a program that you can download called mdump. So let me get this set up. So this is the method I use to dump uh, this cartridge cut bear jam. And we, we just loaded program cut and M dump. And here's the line of code. So let's just type run. Once a file name. All right, I switched. I got a centipede cartridge in here now. Now we'll just use we'll just save it to the same disk here. Just type in centip centipede return hit space bar screen flashes flip the switch hit the space bar. Alright and right into the disk now. You know how slow the Commodore disk drive is. I always use the 1541-2 drive. So let's let that write for a minute. I might fast forward through some of this. And it's done. So I'm going to hit the uh, reset button I have here. Let's turn Jiffy DOS back on and make it easier and quicker. Because you only have to hit F1 to load a disk directory. And there it is right there. Jiffy DOS, hit a slash, it'll load. And again, you know how slow the Commodore loads? I had to reload with Jiffy DOS turned off. Hit list. There's nothing there, so what you do then, go down here, hit my reset button, and there it is. So you can see how this program works really good. It doesn't work on everything. I have a higher success rate with the cartridge cracker, but it basically just dumps. This one can dump and reboot some games. So it's pretty nice too, and most people, uh, you can buy these mod these um, cartridge selector things here, and all you need is one of these things. You can find these on eBay pretty cheap, usually twenty to thirty dollars. Uh, you can also buy new ones uh, online. And you can dump cartridges if you really want to, if you have a reason to, uh, just kind of for the fun of it. Uh, post in your comments below, post questions. Let me know what other Commodore 64 videos you want to see. Uh, just post any questions below. What would you like to see next in the Commodore world? I just need some more ideas for uh, Commodore videos. Uh, thank you for watching, always, and remember to subscribe.